What's the difference between this product that's doing $50 a month in sales and this product that's doing 14 grand a month? I'll tell you, it's very, very simple. This product is listed on page one of the search results. In this video, I'm gonna tell you how you can get your products appearing on page one of the search results. So you can get a huge chunk of the revenue going through your product's niche. So once we know that getting our product to appear on page one is the aim, how do we actually make that happen? Well, I'm gonna give you a few strategies and it all starts with choosing a product that deserves to be high up in the search results. If you're selling some piece of crap that nobody's interested in, doesn't fill any gaps in the market, that nobody's spending any money on, then it doesn't even matter if you get to page one because you're not gonna get hardly any revenue, nobody cares about your product, and you're not going the right way about building this business. So the first thing you wanna do is find a product where there's a high demand, relatively low competition, and where you're definitely adding value to the marketplace. These are the three main things you have to do first. But I'm gonna assume that you've actually done these, you've imported your product, or you've chosen one to import, and now you're trying to get it ranked. So once you've got that stuff handled, next, what you wanna do is start building up some SEO for the product that you're selling. So, look, I'm not an expert at SEO. It's confusing, it's very technical. I know just enough to enable my products to appear on search one, and that's all you really ever have to know as well, luckily. So the first thing you wanna do is optimize your product's listing as much as you possibly can. So think about every single element that you can edit on your products listing. First thing uh, that appears is the picture and the title. You wanna make sure your photo, your main product's photo, really represents uh, the quality of your product and how it stands out from the other products in the marketplace. Make sure it's professionally taken as physically possible, white background, and it just looks the part. Once you've got an awesome photo, title has to be good as well. So put keywords with uh, high search volumes in the title. But to separate your product from the other products in the search results, put a couple of benefits that your product has that really will jump out at the customer. What is it that makes your products better than the other products in the marketplace? How can you position your product so when a customer's looking for products to buy, they instantly know that your product's gonna solve their desired outcome they're looking for by shopping on Amazon. Whenever a customer goes to buy something on Amazon, they're not just looking for products, they're looking to solve issues. If your product solves their issue, then they're gonna buy it faster than they'll buy anything else. Even if your product is materially the same as other products in the search results. So get the title right, get the photos right, that's kind of the first step. Next, you want amazing bullet points that really draw on more benefits while your product's brilliant, why the design is amazing, why um, it's better than other products on the marketplace, why it really does its job properly. You want a great description with a call to action at the bottom. You want to ex like really, really point out the uh, guarantee you're offering with your product and just optimize everything on that listing. Make sure every space that you can fill with text is completely full up. So once you've done this and your listing looks amazing, and you know, you've optimized it as much as possible, when a, a buyer clicks on your listing, they're gonna have no excuse not to buy your product. Now what we can do is start to get people actually clicking on it. So the easiest way to do this in the beginning is to use pay-per-click advertising, sponsored ads inside Amazon. So once your listing's optimized and you've got an amazing product, then any money that you spend in pay-per-click advertising will be well placed. That'd be a great investment to actually start building up the ranking for your product. So start off with an automatic campaign, start messing around with manual campaigns, different keywords, test as many different variations of campaigns as you can until something sticks. What's gonna happen sooner or later after a week or two of testing different campaigns is you're gonna get some sales. Once you have adverts that work, keep those and delete the other ones. 
and then ramp up the daily spend for the ones that work and try and scale those campaigns. The more sales you can get from pay-per-click advertising, the higher your products uh, will appear in the search results organically as well. So even if you're just breaking even on the ad spend, you'll get sales from organic clicks at the same time. So this is a really powerful way to start the upward spiral to get your products to appear higher in the search results and get more sales. Now, after a while, you're gonna to start to get relatively steady sales with pay-per-click advertising. It might not be very much in the beginning, it could be one, two, three, four a day. But once you start to get quite a few sales, next, you want to begin doing some promotions. So give your products away for free. There's tons of tools you can use out there to run promotions, to give away coupons to customers, to um, boost your, your product's bestseller ranking, uh, get it appearing higher in the search results. Every time you run a promotion, whether it's for a week, two weeks, three weeks, um, you'll find that your product has a spike in bestseller rank. Bestseller rank will go much lower. The product will appear higher in the search results, you'll get sales, and that will keep building all of this uh, upward spiral of sales. The promotions will work together with the sponsored ads to get you more organic sales from the higher position in the search results. And sooner or later, after a few weeks or maybe a month of doing this stuff, your product will end up on page one. Once it's on page one, then what you wanna do is just maintain it and keep it there. So this means checking your listing maybe 10 to 15 minutes a day just to make sure that ads are all still running properly, making sure your listings is optimized as much as it possibly can be. Every single section looks as good as it can be. And just make sure your product stays on that page one. If you implement every single one of these steps of the process, getting your products to page one and keeping them there definitely won't be too much of a difficult task. So thanks so much for watching this video. I hope this has cleared up the simple but effective strategies I use to get my products selling consistently. Uh, if you wanna learn a little bit more about how I import products without any problems, how I find legitimate suppliers, how I import stock without ever seeing or touching it, and how to import products that don't cause me any hassle, definitely download my three steps to seamless imports PDF. You can click on the screen to grab it on the link there or in the link in the description. I'll send it straight to your inbox. Thanks so much for watching. If you found this video helpful and you want more ways to explode your Amazon business and build a business you can run from anywhere so you can kick the competition in the BSR, then hit the subscribe button. Also hit the little bell notification button to get updates of when I release new videos. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.